Hey y'all, what's up? Thanks for checking out the video. Uh, if you're looking for spots to go kayaking and fishing and outdoor adventures, that sort of thing, right here in the Atlanta area, uh, you've come to the right place. Uh, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be cranking out a bunch of these Google Earth videos. Basically what we're doing is just showing you where to go, where to launch, where to take out, what roads to use, and maybe some information on, you know, fishing lures or what type of fish are there, what to expect, um, hazards, that sort of thing. So in this particular video, we are going to go over one of my favorite stretches of the uh, to paddle the Chattahoochee River, and that is Garrard Landing Park to Island Ford. So let's take these roads off for just a second. There we go. This green line right here is the Chattahoochee River. As you can see, um, and then it cuts uh, right at Garrard Park. It cuts off, so the river continues this way. But as you can see, this is right outside of Atlanta, Georgia, just north. Um, it's one of my local waters. It's it's very local to me, so um, it's very accessible. So we'll go ahead and scroll down here just to show you what main roads we're using to uh, access these places. Going to turn the roads back on. Um, this is Holcomb Bridge Road, this way to Dunwoody, this way to Roswell. Um, on Holcomb Bridge, it crosses the Chattahoochee right here at Garrard Park. There's also a uh, Chattahoochee River Park right on the other side of Holcomb Bridge Road. We typically launch from Garrard Landing or Garrard Park. There's a set of shoals right here. They're not too difficult, but in just a, I guess, effort to just avoid those as soon as we put in. Uh, we'll launch here at Garrard Park. As you can see, there's a nice boat ramp right here that you can use um, to launch your kayak. It's really muddy down in here, so wear some water shoes or some tennis shoes that you don't care about. You definitely don't want to wear some nice shoes or you'll get dirty as soon as you get into the river. This is a water treatment plant, I think, right on the other side. So we're going to scroll back out here show you the overview of the float. This float's about a five hour float. Um, there are no rapids, maybe a couple little shoals and that's it in this area. But Garrard Landing Park to Island Ford over here. Island Ford is um, part of the Chattahoochee National Park. This whole area is Chattahoochee National River National Park right here. Um, we access it uh, through Roberts Drive which is right here. Roberts Drive can be accessed directly from the 400 Highway um, further on down here at North Ridge. So we would get off 400 on North Ridge, cut across to Roberts Drive, um, leave a vehicle at Island Ford. The water is flowing this way. Um, everyone pile in the vehicle and then we take off over here to Garrard Landing to where we launch. So we'll go ahead and start walking through this stretch of the river. Again, this is about a five-hour float. If you paddle, you can do it um, quicker. Uh, if you take your time, uh, you can do it. You can, you know, stretch out the time a little bit. Uh, even if the water is being released at Buford Dam Road, you're so far down from Buford Dam that it's not going to affect your paddle whatsoever. You might move a little, little bit faster, but it's not, not going to be a factor whatsoever. This is all pretty deep water river. So we'll launch here. Um, come down. It's it's really cool. I don't know if you can tell, but the river in this aerial view is foggy. And that's one thing that makes the Chattahoochee River really cool is uh, in the summertime when it's really hot or sometimes in the wintertime when it's really cold, you'll get this fog set in over the river and it's a lot of fun to paddle in. Uh, this is trout water. Uh, the unique thing about the Chattahoochee River, and we'll, we'll get to this location later, um, but below Morgan Falls is typically going to be bass water. Above Morgan Falls um, is going to be trout, wa trout waters with the exception of like Lawyer's Lake there in Roswell. We'll, we'll talk about that in another video. Um, so if you're interested, subscribe, check out that other video. So you can see the fog here. Um, this is a very easy, easy float. Great for beginners. Always wear your life jacket. That water still is very, very cold even though it's this far down from, <clears throat> excuse me, from uh, Lake Lanier and the uh, Buford Dam. Much of the banks on either side is residential. So do not uh, get out of your kayak if you don't have to, because um, you'll be in somebody's backyard. 
some of these houses are very very nice and people do not like um, trespassing so you're fine as long as you stay in the river um, but under no circumstances other than someone is hurt or injured or you need help um, don't get out of your kayak and into someone's backyard um, so you're gonna flow through all this is great trout water typically what I like to use are um, rooster tails small spinner baits spoons uh, a friend of mine Brian Sanford check out his channel Brian Sanford uh, he uses the phoby spoons they're kind of like cut they're metal spoons cut in the shape of a little fish and colored either gold or trout colors um, he does really well on those um, streamers if you're a fly fisherman it's probably gonna be best there are some large large trout in this area uh, so um, definitely keep an eye out for those but I like to use rooster tails I like to use spoons trout magnet um, divers anything that kind of imitates a, um, a trout is uh, what I like what I like to use sometimes when these stalkers grow to a certain size and they've been in the river for a season or two seasons or three seasons they start to eat other stalker trout or smaller trout they become cannibals um, I know if you take some of the guided trips out here that are catching these big browns um, and it's the big ones are primarily browns in the Chattahoochee River because the rainbows they don't last that long but some of so, some rainbows do end up getting pretty big um, these guys are all throwing streamers with a little bit of split shot weight on them and the reason being is because it's deep water and uh, you need to get that big streamer down in the water column so as we're moving um, you're gonna come into an island right here I mean some of these houses are just unbelievable you can actually go on the right side or left side here of uh, of this island I don't think we went in the middle the middle is kind of a tight spot but I'm pretty sure either of these three ways you'll be okay um, last time we went we caught fish on both sides of this island so no real rapids there to worry about and this is a big deep river so you're not gonna hit a whole lot just like that we are down to Island Ford um, Island Ford when you pull into Island Ford I'll show you guys where to go if I can see it um, there should be a field somewhere it's right on the river by Island Ford so when you pull in this may be it right here possibly that doesn't look like the parking lot I typically park at though oh there it is right here yep uh, here's your Island Ford um, information visitor center that sort of thing um, when you pull in there is a it's usually blocked off um, sometimes you can get down in here and then it's blocked off here at the gate but uh, pull your vehicle in um, you can park here temporarily pull your kayaks up on the field you do have to port and cross this field it's not too bad you know if you're in a big giant 13 foot um, large boat it can be somewhat of a chore um, if you're in a smaller uh, more suitable kayak for the Chattahoochee River uh, it's it's easy as pie but you can just pull right across this field load up here and then take off so that's really really nice this is also a good spot to launch your kayak and we'll talk about that in another video um, and there is you can barely make out this parking area that's right here um, so you do have to come back up park here and then hike up and down this road so that is it guys we'll do one last overview this is a great float great for a weekend day summer day um, and like I said this is trout water so if you're gonna fish this stretch of river from Garrard Landing Park to Island Ford which is in the uh, Chattahoochee River uh, National Park area um, this is all gonna be trout water and uh, the poundage or uh, the, the size tackle that I use is typically two pound to six pound test on an ultralight rod and reel so Thanks for checking out the video. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. But this is one of my favorite floats close to home here on the Chattahoochee River. Y'all take care.